In this video, I'd like to take a deep dive into the over 100 customization parameters in grunge text and background from Luca Visual Effects. For a quick overview, check out the first look video I made. I'll put a link in the description. I'll drag the default generator to my timeline. Let's go through the extensive parameters. At the top, there are some built-in animations for the text we can choose from. There are six mask animations, plus type on, fall in, and fade in. Next are the background parameters. Turn the background on or off with the checkbox if you'd like to have only grungy text. The semi-transparency checkbox will make the background just a little bit transparent if you'd like to composite the generator with video clips underneath. Next, we can flip the background on the different axes. We can adjust the scale and the aspect ratio of the background. The variation controls allow you to mix seven different grungy textures together, plus optionally add in a custom image or a video clip of your choice. Adjusting the different sliders is more than just fading them on and off. It will dramatically change the look of the background. You can add lights to the cracks layer and adjust their position. The custom image doesn't even need to be a grungy still. Load a video clip into the mix if you'd like. You'll get the best results with higher contrast images in the custom image well. We have complete position control over the custom image in addition to the variation slider. Plus, we can add feathering and roundness to it in order to get rid of hard borders and even create the effect of an image of a movie painted or projected on the wall. We can flip the layers and combinations of layers on the different axes. The next section includes special effects. We can add a blur effect, which can be useful when creating a focus pull or depth of field effect in combination with a text. There is a light flicker effect, and we can control the amount, frequency, and noisiness of it. Plus, change the random seed to get it just right. We can add a shake effect too, with the same adjustments for amount, frequency, noisiness, and random seed. Finally, there is a focus jitter effect. All these parameters help you create an older damaged movie effect. In the colors section, we can turn colors on or off with one click. We can change the hue of each color well and adjust its intensity. At the bottom are global adjustments. Blow out the saturation for an intense look or desaturate for a more realistic, grungy, old world look. Next are some particle effects we can add. Dust allows you to turn on a floating dust effect. We can customize its size and density. Smoke and particles allows you to choose from five different presets of smoke and sparks, plus customize them further with position, scale, blur, color, and color intensity controls. Next is a powerful vignette section with many more controls you can change than in standard vignette effects. You can even keyframe it to create lighting effects. Now we get into the text controls. Type your text into the text field. Above the text field are some of the standard text controls you'd expect. Select the Final Cut Pro text field tab for more controls. Below we can add blur or a focus jitter effect, which can look like damaged film. Next, adjust exposure and color parameters to dial in the right color look. The native text color is controlled by the saturation slider, which is set to zero by default. Damages mask can be turned on to give the effect of damaged text. This works best with 2D text. Completely customize the look of this as well. The animated texture section 
allows you to choose and customize the animated textures in the text. Pick the one you like and customize it from there. Next are shadow controls for the text on the background. Now that you've seen all of the over 100 parameters, you are an expert in the plugin. All of the included preset examples have the same parameters, so start with one you like and customize from there. And if those weren't enough customization for you, adding keyframes to the variations and colors can dramatically change your look over time as well. Some final tips. Get the lighting right on variation 5, or the cracks component. It should be very thin and the right color inside the cracks. Overall, the color shouldn't be too saturated for the sake of realism. If it's not obvious, use these presets not just as text and background together, but as text alone or background alone. You can also make the text smaller to have a title card with lots of grungy text. And since these are generators, use blend modes to composite them with other footage. So check out Luca Visual Effects Grunge Text and Background today to see where your creativity takes you. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos every week.